Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great Halloween, folks. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 126, NASDAQ up 59, SP's up 27. Gold, gold contract down $10.60, trading at 1995 an ounce. We have silver up 42 cents, $22.97 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck 13. $81.18 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down two ticks, trading 10605. The 30-year up four ticks at 10913 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 526 ticks, 106646. The euro is at 105. The yen's trading at 151.57. And the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a bounce going. And, you know, thus far, we get the price going, but you don't have the juice behind it. So when we take a look at this, you're going to see SPY's up 260. Get 50 million shares traded right now. You know, yesterday we did 86. You know, so we're going to do it like 65 or something. So when we take a look at this, the first place that you want to be basically looking at this is the 420 area. You know, you're at 418, 420's ice. That's where it came down to the swing point, broke the swing point, you know, had some juice on the break. Bottom line gets down to the low. Now that low that was out there, the, you know, that, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good low. What I mean by a good low, it was coming into the low that was established out here this past May. You know, so if we even take a look at this, we put this on a weekly, what you're gonna see is, you know, I mean, it's a classic, really, you know, that how it comes into this, this number. So we'll see how it shakes out. Now, when I do do this on a weekly, this gets kind of interesting. Let me see what that number is. That number is 458, and we did 487. Yeah. See, that this gets interesting because when you put this on a weekly, you can see that's a high-volume bar, man. And the bar that was going into, this is, this is actually saying that, this thing can get down to this uh, 396. No, we've already been there, right? No, hold on. What is that? 396. I see. No, yeah, no. 396 is the high of the low. Yeah, 396. So it'll be interesting to see what type of follow through we get. Now, what we do have is this is that you have the Fed tomorrow. I believe, we'll pull this up right now, I believe this is just a one-day meeting, though. Calendar, November 1st. Yeah, it's a one-day meeting, okay? So what you're going to have there is that they start in the morning. They're going to have a news conference. They're going to have a statement at, at 1,400 hours, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern time. And then at 2.30, they'll have the uh, question and answer. And that, that will move markets. You know, well, it may move markets, let's put it that way. We gotta take a look at the Qs. So the Qs, they're they're up a buck ninety-six. You get thirty-eight million shares traded. Now, yesterday we had uh, fifty-five. Now the Qs can get fifty-five. You know that's kind of how the Qs trade. Trade. That being said, the number you're gonna want to watch in the Qs is this. Uh, we're three fifty-one. Oh, that's interesting. No, it's, it's right at it. This is right at it. So this is now. This is when you get. You know when you're looking at the indices, folks. Okay. It's pretty cool that the Qs are already there. The reason being is this. If we go higher tomorrow and we get through this swing point on the Qs, your probability is that the spies are also going to go, meaning higher. You know, so the Qs are the first ones that are going to try to take it out. Now, that being said, the Qs have been much stronger than the S&P. You can see they didn't go down to the end of May. They only went up, up to the... Well, they, 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 they went to May, but what ended up happening is that the Qs were that much higher in May than the SPY. Notes and bonds. 
We take a look at the note and bond market. That's been a sideways move. More than likely, you're going to see movement on those also tomorrow. You know, right now, we've been going sideways for three, six, nine days, nine trading days. You know, you're still at the, these lows. If we take a look at the interest rate structure on the 10-year, the high is uh, 4.990, and we're at 4.880. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold still wants higher price. Gold wants that 2129 level up at that swing point. You get, uh, you know, sideways move out here, down 10 bucks. You've been moving all around, actually. You get a low of eight, uh, 1987, you get a high of 2017. And what that's going to be all about is that if we go over to the dollar and you take a look at the dollar, that, you know, the dollar bottom line is down 519 ticks. Now, as one of our targets said, Peter, is that this is about the yen, but it really doesn't matter what, kind of like, well, it matters what it's about. But you can see the yen, the yen got weaker in an extraordinary way. And this is all about the, you know, Japanese Central Bank and their yield curve, okay? And they just decided, hey, man, I'm going to make this thing weaker overnight. And if we pull this back now, what you're going to see when we pull it back is that the last high, though, that was established out here is 151.95. That was established uh, going all the way back in, um, what was that? What number? About November 2022. And we're approaching that number. So more than likely, we're going to ba basically hit that number. And we'll see how that shakes out once we get into that number. You know, because what you do have is that the euro is flat, the pound is flat. Now, it, what's intriguing is that the yen is the smallest weighting structure inside of the dollar. But when you get the yen that moves that high, that, that totally makes a difference. The amazing part is that gold's not down like 50 or $60. Because when you get a move like this in the yen, that gets that much weak, most times that gold goes. So that's telling me this gold market is stronger than, you know, we all understand at this particular point. Because this type of move in the yen, you know, normally would take 50, 100 bucks, man. I mean, that's, that's the reality. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow of Industrials right now is up a buck 20, NASDAQ's up 65, S&P's up 27. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.